So tell me about yourself. Now you've got one minute to make an impression. Here's how you do it. Okay, I get it. A lot of us became software developers because we like computers better than people. But these days, software is written in teams. So you're going to have to talk with people. And one of the most common icebreaker questions you're going to get in an interview is very simple. Tell me about yourself. Now, answering this question might not get you the job, but if you mess it up, it might set the tone for the rest of the interview, which might not get you the job. Now, this is also an opportunity to find something in common with the person who's interviewing you. So if you're able to, try to find that person on LinkedIn and take a look at their LinkedIn profile, see where they went to school. Maybe they served in the army. Uh, maybe you two worked at the same company. So find something in common that you can maybe slide into that question when it's asked. Now, I developed a method called BATS, which will help smooth this along, and it can be done in under a minute. BATS stands for Brief Work History, Academics, Technical Achievement, and Sports. Think of it like an elevator pitch, but for you. And now what I need you to do is when you develop your own BATS, you need to practice it in the mirror or on a webcam until you have it cold. B stands for Brief Work History. Go over the past three jobs or the past seven years and just give a general overview of your position title and what you did. A stands for academics. Go over the degrees you have, where you went to school, and any certificates that are pertinent to the job. T stands for technical accomplishments. This is where you're going to put the Raspberry Pi subway status board that you made, or the gaming rig that you developed, or maybe the open source projects that you contribute to. S stands for sports, and I wouldn't lump esports into that, so if you play Call of Duty or you play Fortnite, I wouldn't necessarily talk about that because everybody from 18 to 50 plays video games. Instead, I'm looking for a physical sport that you and your recruiter might have in common so you can talk about it together. Don't have a sport? I can help you with that. Just remember the acronym RACS. This stands for running, automotive, cycling, climbing, and skiing. And if you're in South America or Europe, substitute the skiing for soccer. All of these sports are relatively easy to get into, especially automotive, because if you're into cars, you can just talk about cars. Here's how I would do it. Well, I've been programming for almost 25 years now. I've done everything from tank simulations to uh, nuclear reactors to payroll software. I'm currently a software architect at a company I love. Um, I went to NJIT for my bachelor's and my master's. I'm currently in school at University of Maryland for cybersecurity. Uh, I have a YouTube channel where I teach people how to pass job interviews, and I'm an avid runner and triathlete. So practice this on your own, and good luck on your next interview.